Bah! <laughs> Did you know the freaking Nikola Tesla, the inventor? He said that he was talking to aliens, and the, the first people that he told were the Red Cross, who we know now are the Rothschilds. Did you know that? <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> Hey, did you know that while Tesla, Nikola Tesla was uh, researching his magnifying transmitter thing, you know, the things that he said that he could transmit wireless electricity and Wi-Fi with just 30 towers in the entire world. Anyway, did you know that he was actually at, on Christmas of 1900, he was at his Colorado place. Here, look, it was a research lab. If you've ever seen The Prestige, you know when he goes and visits Tesla? and he's got like his light bulbs glowing all over the place you know hold on it's yeah you know this freaking part when they need us. the tesla doesn't want to scare anyone how the frick did he light those up they're why wi that's wireless yeah dude yeah freaking tesla tesla was making wireless technology at the beginning of the century 1900 1899 and guess what all of his People who were funding him, you know, J.P. Morgan, all those cool guys who own banks and have banks named after them. Yeah, they were like, yo, Tesla, this idea is fucking stupid because it sounds like you are trying to make energy free and cheap. And he said, yeah, yeah, energy is free. It's everywhere. It's cheap and it's free and it's freaking everywhere. And they said, we are going to ruin you, okay? Stop talking about that. And then ever since, J uh, Tesla had nothing but money problems. Isn't that so funny? He's a scientist. And they were like, hey, how come you can't manage your money, huh? 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 You have the greatest ideas uh, known to mankind. Uh, why can't you pay your bills? Uh, 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 maybe it's because the bankers wanted him to, wanted to fuck him up. Anyway. Just, this is totally unrelated, but did you know that while he was in Colorado, he heard messages from aliens? <laughs> he did. He heard messages from aliens, and do you know who he, who he wrote to? He wrote to the Red Cross. He did. He wrote directly. The first people he contacted were the Red Cross. And isn't that funny? Because now we know a couple things about the Red Cross. We know, one, that it's just a continuation of the Knights Templar. Two, we know that uh, Red Cross is demonic and they literally are trying to steal everyone's homes in Lahaina. Uh, three, we know that Red Cross and Rosicrucian are kind of the same thing. And four, well, no, actually, there's five things. The flag of Switzerland, it seems like all this shit goes back to Switzerland. You know, you ever heard of uh, uh, Bern, Switzerland, where Alan Dulles got his start? You ever heard of that one Swiss town where there's the tower of the, the, the king eating children? <laughs> Have you ever heard of that? I was right, too. You guys will never guess. The child, the Peter Peter Child Eater statue is in Bern, Switzerland, too. Look at this. Here, look, I'll show you. Oh, look at this, dude. This is cool. This is really cool, okay? This is a cool thing. This is a statue that's literally in Bern, and it literally is a, a, a you know, a, a king eating children, okay? So just wanted you to know that. And then here, let's just look real quick. Yeah, during his time at the, his laboratory, Tesla observed unusual signals from his receiver, which he concluded might be communications from another planet. He mentioned them in a letter to reporter Julian Hawthorne uh, on December 8th, 19, 1899. And then in December 1900, letter uh, about possible discoveries in the new century to the Red Cross, where he referred to messages from a Another world that read one, two, three. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Then he wrote an article called Talking with Planets, okay? <laughs> but everything kind of went downhill after this. After the alien thing, <laughs> nothing went right for Tesla, okay? And I don't know, maybe it, maybe it has something to do with these freaking red crossers. 
Here, let's see. What did he write to... This is the this is the letter. I can't read that, so I'm going to read the text. He wrote, I have observed electrical actions which have appeared inexplicable, faint and uncertain, though they were. They have given me a deep conviction and foreknowledge that ere long all human beings on this globe, as one, will turn their eyes to the firmament above with feelings of love and reverence, thrilled by the glad news. Brethren, we have a message from another world, unknown and remote. It reads, one, two, three. And he freaking thought this came from goddamn Mars, dude. I'm serious. I'm freaking serious. The feeling is constantly growing on me that I had been the first to hear the greeting of one planet to another. A purpose was behind these electrical signals. And just freaking wait. Dude, you want to know what Tesla thought they were? He said his basic interpretation of these signals was that creatures from another planet, marshals as the slang of the day called them, were secretly here on Earth. They had infiltrated humankind for centuries. They had controlled events and people in order to lead mankind on a path to evolutionary development and essentially were responsible for human beings on the planet in the first place. <laughs> yeah. yeah. As well, Tesla discovered that the planet's overall temperature was slowly increasing what we know today as global warming. Tesla thought that this was being brought about by natural conditions as well as man-made and extraterrestrial interference. Yeah, it's what P it's what Peter is finishing up. He is finishing preparing the planet for the marshals that uh, that Tesla was trying to tell us all about. And then everyone said, no, look, he's crazy. Ha ha ha. They used the media and they said, look at this hilarious, crazy inventor who was actually the smartest coolest inventor in all time they they did what they do to justin bieber right now they they said look he's so dumb he thinks he's talking to aliens meanwhile the red cross takes all of his information and goes and takes it very 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 seriously and then they spent the next the rest of tesla's life uh sabotaging him making him poor on purpose and telling everyone that he's a crank uh but he wasn't okay see you in a little bit hey you want to come watch uh this come on we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about all this stuff, I think. Okay? See you soon. Bye.